Halo Halo is one of the most loved and famous desserts from the Philippines. So how did we go from this to this? Halo Halo is a Filipino dessert made of shaved ice, evaporated milk, a beautiful assortment of fruits, gulaman or agar jellies, nata de coco, sweetened beans, and other amazing toppings. It means mix mix in Tagalog, and the name reminds me of an Indonesian dish called gado gado, which apparently also means mix mix, but that's, well, a peanut salad. So I drifted off topic. It's a childhood favorite of mine and one that brings back fond memories of home. It's somewhat similar to ice kacang, es doger, or chendol from Malaysia, Indonesia, and Singapore. Going back to that mildly terrifying picture, about five years ago, YouTube channel Bon Appetit decided to post a recipe of an ode to halo halo, a reimagined version featuring strawberries, lime juice, gummy bears, and popcorn. Obviously, people were outraged, and if the new one-star review still popping up from last year mean anything, it still hasn't sat well at all with Filipinos. I also don't see the need to reimagine a perfectly delicious dessert, seemingly to appeal to Western audiences. This resurfaced to me because Bon Appetit actually posted a new video with a more accurate version of Halo Halo that has been more well received, so you can watch that if you like. They also added this new note, basically apologizing for the Oto Halo Halo. So I almost feel bad for having to take digs at them five years later. Regardless, I haven't seen anyone giving this recipe a try, so I'm going to make that plus a more authentic halo halo and give you my reaction. For the ode to halo halo with recipe included in the description box below, we first have to start with bananas. This is basically an Americanized reimagined version, so I'm imagining they use Cavendish bananas, which I've never seen used in a halo halo before. We basically let that, some brown sugar, vanilla extract, a pinch of salt, and some water sit for 20 to 30 minutes until bananas are jammy. Next, we're gonna combine some blueberries, blackberries, lime juice, sugar, and a pinch of salt. I have no idea why, but we have to mash the berries and release juices. Don't come at me, the recipe said so. And leave it to rest for 15 to 20 minutes. We need to combine the coconut milk and condensed milk into a bowl. And once the fruits are done marinating, it's time to assemble this thing. I got my shaved ice made with this terrible ice shaver that cut my finger once, and for showcasing purposes, I will use a glass. We start with bananas, then berries, then shaved ice, vanilla ice cream, alternate that and pour the condensed milk mixture on top. Lastly, we garnish with toasted coconut flakes, gummy bears, and uh, popcorn. What have I created? So I actually tried to like this. I really did try, you guys. I mean, I mean, it's got some preserved bananas and berries, right? I mean, it should just taste like a cute sundae, right? Bingsu? No, it really didn't. Something about the mixture of coconut, berries, and bananas came across a bit strange to me in this format with shaved ice and vanilla ice cream. It felt like way too much was going on at once. The popcorn went completely soggy in there, and the gummy bears went really hard because of the ice, and I possibly could have broken a tooth on it, so... Needless to say, this was really, really bad. I don't know, guys. I could have thought of many different and better ways to make an Americanized halo halo. Not that it's even necessary, to be honest. But if this is an ode to halo halo and we're going by definitions, this person who made this recipe must have really hated halo halo. But let's move on to the real stuff. I can't be bothered to make all the fresh ingredients on hand, not when I have this thing. See? You can make halo halo at home completely by yourself, and it's much easier than the ode. Just go to your Filipino or Asian grocery store. They're even authentic halo halos, which use less than four fixins, like this cool kapampangan version of halo halo, which I'm sure tastes amazing. I prepared my great grandmother Mama Didi's leche flan, which, sorry guys, family secret, and some ube ice cream a day before. All recipes referenced will be in the description box below. Now, all you gotta do is assemble. Some background on this dessert while I make it. According to historian Ambeth Ocampo, halo halo actually originated from a Japanese dessert called Mungoya introduced by pre-war Japanese Filipinos, which consisted of sweetened mung beans on top of crushed ice with milk and sugar, belonging to the kakigori class of desserts. However, over time, Filipinos got creative and decided to add more and more native ingredients like palm seeds, leche flan, ube halea, sabah bananas, and so on. This to me is one of my favorites, if not favorite dessert. It perfectly encapsulates a combination of so many sweet ingredients all working in harmony together and has so many different textures. It's also absolutely stunning to look at and eat, and it's a reflection of my heritage and my history, and I'm so proud of it. You should definitely try making this at home. I love serving it in a bowl as compared to a glass, because I can mix everything better without making a mess. And my favorite toppings to eat are the bananas, but I love everything in a traditional halo halo, including the beans and the corn. And if it all melts, 
No worries, you now have a delicious icy drink to finish off. That was my reaction to the Ode to Halo Halo. Thanks for watching guys and tune in next time for more Southeast Asian food and food from around the world.